ओम भूरभुव स्वेत सवितुर्वरिणी भर्गो देव से धीमहि धियो यो न प्रचो ओम शांति 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 ही नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सेकंड वीडियो ऑन आत्मबोधा ऑफ आदि शंकराचार्य आई स्टार्ट विद आत्मा आत्मा त्रही का देन व्हाट इज द आत्मा सच्चिदानंद सब रूप इट इज ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ सत्यचित आनंद एग्जिस्टेंस नॉलेज ब्लिस अंटिल नाउ द टीचर हैज डिस्क्राइब द आत्मा बाय नेगेशंस व्हाट द आत्मा इज नॉट इट इज नॉट द फाइव सीट्स नॉट द थ्री बॉडीज नॉट द थ्री स्टेट्स thus the teacher has eliminated the various notions a student may have about atma now he goes on to describe the positive aspects of atma if what atma is not is clear then what it is can be comprehended if the positive attributes of atma what is stated first without the negations the student is likely to develop wrong notions and confuse atma with something it is not sat kim what is sat kal priya pi tishthati ti satah sat is that which remains unchanged in the three periods of time sat is that which remains unchanged in all the three periods of time that is past present and future for example the pot is made of clay the sat aspect of the pot is clay which existed before the pot was made which is in the pot and which will remain after the pot is destroyed everything perishable has got to be made of a substance that is fundamental and permanent since the word jagat is perishable it must be made of a fundamental substance and that is atma that was is and will remain whether or not jagat exists this timelessness of atma is eternity or sat chit kim what is a chit gyane swarup it is of the nature of absolute knowledge chit is the awareness it is present during all the states of experience and by knowing it one immediately achieves perfection chit also abides in all periods of time and therefore is also of the nature of satva tatva bodha ananda ka what is ananda sukh swarup of the nature of absolute happiness ananda is the experience which one gains when one is with oneself thus when one is desirous of an object and if that desire is fulfilled the momentary happiness is that of being with oneself at that moment the person is totally satisfied with himself and does not want to be something else this is the state of ananda ananda is the fundamental nature of human beings the objects which appear to provide happiness for a short while are only instruments objects by themselves do not possess happiness or sorrow because the same object has a different appeal to different people or to the same person at different times objects are like the wind that clears the clouds from our vision of the sun wind appears to have produced the vision of the sun but the sun was always there in whose light we could see the clouds in the first place similarly happiness or ananda is always there being the basic nature of human beings 
An object is like the wind that momentarily clears the clouds of gloom or unhappiness. The happiness or ananda experienced when one is with oneself is the same in all cases, that is, whether it be gained by acquiring desired objects or by other sensuous pleasures or from artery, poetry, art or poetry. Only the duration and intensity may be different. The Satma is one of the nature of absolute bliss or, an bliss or ananda. Evam Satchidananda Savarupam Savatmanam Vijaniyate Thus one should know oneself to be of the nature of absolute existence. Thus Atma is absolute existence, knowledge, bliss because Atma Ahem is I. My basic nature is also absolute existence, knowledge, bliss. Jagat, the universe, the Atma or the Self has been defined or rather indicated by both negations as well as positive assertions. The next question that arises is, what about the objective world, Jagat, that is around me? What is the relationship between the I and the Jagat? How did the Jagat come about? The teacher now proceeds to explain the evolution of the universe and its nature. Ate, Chatur Patti Prakaram Bhakshamaha now we shall explain the evolution of the 24 tatvas brahmasreya satvarjaste tamoguna timika maya asti depending on brahma for its existence is maya which is of the nature of the three gunas sattva rajas and tamas brahma the word brahma is derived from the root BRH which means to grow. From this root the noun Brahma is derived and it is neuter in gender. Thus Brahma means bigness in itself and is therefore indicates the biggest or the infinite. It is also beyond the relative concepts of space and time which are the products of the mind and is the cause for the universe. However, the Jagat or the objective world is in the domain of time and space because it is changeable with reference to both time and space. Then how did this finite world come about from Brahma which is infinite or limitless? The infinite cannot change into finite, nor can portion of the changeless become changeable. So the changeable Jagat has to be different from Brahma and this poses a riddle. Mala. Creation of an object can come about in two ways. Either first, either as a change or modification in the substance from which it is made or second by an error in which the real thing is mistaken to be something else. Examples of the first type of creation is that of a pot from the clay, curd from the milk etc. An example of the second method is the creation of the snake from the rope. This creation is caused by the ignorance of the rope, rope ignorance, so that in darkness the rope is mistaken to be snake. Since Brahma cannot change or be modified to create this changing world, the creation of the world must be apparent only, as in the second method Ignorance of Brahma is responsible for this apparent creation in which Brahma is mistaken as the Jagat. This ignorance which is the cause for the creation of the world is called Maya. Maya is the power which produces the impossible. The power of Maya seems to have produced this changeable 
world from the changeless Brahma. It is a power that cannot be independent of Brahma. Brahma associated with Maya is called Ishvara. Manifested Brahma. Ishvara has the power of creation through Maya. This is why the Hindu gods with creative power are always associated with Shakti or power. The Shiva is associated with Parvati, Vishnu with Lakshmi, etc. The wife of God is not really separate from me but the Maya aspect of God. The individual self or awareness which has identified itself with various bodies and seats is called Jiva. In essential nature, Jiva is also the same as Ishvara, except that Jiva is under the control of Maya, while Ishvara controls Maya. The power of the mind of Jiva to create an object world in the dream is comparable to the power of Maya of Ishwara by which he creates Jagat. The creation of Maya has three aspects, knowledge, jnana, the function of the intellect, the activity, kriya, function of prana and the inert matter, jada. These three aspects account for all the creation in the world. These manifestations are the effects, Karya of the three corresponding aspects of Maya, which is the cause karana for them. The three aspects of nature of Maya and their manifestations are as follows. Karya effect knowledge and karana is sattva. Activity rajas. Inertness karana is tamas. Because of the three aspects of creation, Maya is called triguna tamika or Satv Rajas Rajas Tamo Gunatmika Because of its dependence on Brahma by which it must be blessed, Maya is also called Brahmasraya. Creation Two causes are required for any purposeful creation. The efficient cause Nimitta Karna and the material cause Upadana Karna. In the creation of a pot, the pot maker is the efficient cause, while the needed clay is the material cause. The efficient cause must have the requisite knowledge, intelligence, perception as well as the power to create. The maker, creator of the thing is verily the knower of the thing. The pot maker has the knowledge of the pot. The universe Jagat is a creation of Ishvara through the power of Maya. Everything that exists in the world is in harmony with a purpose. Nothing is redundant. Everything has to follow the laws of nature. Man may think that he has conquered nature, but in reality it is only an adjustment with nature after understanding it. What are the efficient and material causes in the creation of the universe? It may appear that the Creator created this world from matter. Then the question is who created the matter? Obviously, by definition, we are searching for that entity that created everything. So, Isura must also be the matter from which the world appears to be made. Thus, Ishvara is the efficient as well as the material cause in the creation of the world. This is comparable to the creation of a web by a spider, which uses its own saliva to create the web. So, the spider is both the material and the efficient cause. Another example is the creation by the mind of the world in the dream. The jiva with respect to awareness is the efficient cause and he is also the material cause with respect to the memories which create all the material objects. In the creation of the world, therefore, both the efficient and the material causes are traced to the creator. The causes abides in the effect. Thus, the whole universe of objects, names and forms is but a manifestation of Brahma. Starting from the inert matter to the highest evolved form of the human beings is all Brahma. Brahma is the efficient Nimitta Karna and Maya is the material cause, Upadana Karna. 
Brahma conditioned by Maya is called Ishvara who is therefore both the Nimitya and the Upadana Karna. Abhi Abhinna Nimitta Upadana Karna. Ishvara is also called Mayavi while the created Jagat is called Maya Maikam. Jagat is changeable with respect to time and therefore it is Mithya. Jagat cannot stand apart from Isura. The material cause Jiva can visualize himself to be the whole universe if, the, if he acquires a proper vision. A wave in the ocean is made of the same water that the ocean is made of and therefore it is ocean in real nature. Unfortunately, the wave is not aware of this and it therefore considers itself as limited by its form and therefore different from the ocean and thereby lives a mortal life of a few minutes. When not identified with name and form, a wave would know itself as water which is the content of both the wave as well as the ocean. With this vision, the wave can consider itself as nothing but the ocean, the creator of all waves and also the observer of them. Evolution of the five elements, Tat Akasa Hai Sambhutaha, from that Maya Akasa is born. Akasha the Vayu, from the Akasha Vayu the air, Vayu Tejah, from air the fire, Tejah up, from the fire water, Abhidya Prithvi, from water the earth. The world is made of the five great elements, Pancha Mahabhutani, which Akasha, air, fire, water and earth, and therefore combinations or compounds. Bhautikani, the world consists of all objects, names and forms including the gross and the subtle bodies. These elements have been created by Maya. There are a total of five sense organs of perception and corresponding to them are the fivefold sense objects that are perceived. There is a relationship between an organ of perception and the corresponding sense objects such as between the eyes and the forms and colors or between nose and the objects with smell. The sense of perceptions are made from the five subtle elements, Tanmatras, before their grossification. The five-fold sense objects are made from the same five elements after grossification, Panchi Karna. The relationship between an organ of person that perception that is the eye or the ear and corresponding gross objects. For example, forms or sounds can be explained by the example of a tungsten filament lamp providing light by association with electricity. Electricity is subtler than the tungsten filament. However, the filament is made up of molecules which are made up of atoms which in turn are made up of electrons, protons, etc. The electrons are nothing but energy, thus matter such as tungsten filament is the grossification of energy. By association with subtle electric energy, the light experience is produced. Similarly, the association of the Subtle sense of perception with corresponding gross objects produce an experience or knowledge. In the scheme of creation, the Tanmatras are evolved in the order of the grossness or rather in the order of reduced subtlety. subtlety. The five Tanmatras are Akasa, Vayu, Air, Agni, Fire, Apaha, Water and Prithvi, Earth. The order of creation and the principal Gunas of the Tanmatras are as follows. Element number one Akasa and its Guna is Sound. Second, element is Air and Guna is Touch. Element third, Fire and guna is a form. Element number four, water 
एंड गुणा इज टेस्ट एलिमेंट नंबर फाइव अर्थ एंड इट्स गुणा इज स्मेल द फाइव एलिमेंट्स आर अरेंज इन द ऑर्डर इज विच दे आर एवॉल्ड दैट इज ऑल्सो द ऑर्डर ऑफ रिडक्शन इन देयर सटलिटी द ऑर्डर ऑफ ग्रॉसनेस और रिडक्शन इन सटलिटी इज डिटर्मिंड एज फॉलो नंबर वन आकाशा कैन ओनली बी हर्ड cannot be seen felt tasted or smelled air second air can be heard and felt by touch cannot be smelled seen or tasted the smell that comes with air does not belong to air but to the contaminants carried by it Th- third fire can be seen heard and felt in the order of evolution this is the first element that can be seen that is why it is considered to be nearest to the creator in visible form and therefore employed for invoking the lord in all the rituals number 4 is water water can be seen heard felt with touch and tasted although water is considered to be tasteless in fact it provides the basis of comparison of all tastes fifth is earth earth or the minerals from which all the cross objects with form are made can be seen tasted felt heard as well as smelt this is the only element that has smell the elements have an increasing order of perception and therefore each element is considered grosser than the previous one evolution of the sattva aspect the senses of perception produce perception or the knowledge for the individual the sense elements are evolved from the tan matras which are in turn evolved from maya because maya has three aspects gunas viz sattva rajas and tamas the tan matras also have these three aspects the gunas of the cause flow into the effect as stated before the sattva aspect of maya manifests itself as the knowledge because the function of the sense organs of perception is to produce knowledge they are considered to be evolved from the sattva aspect of five relevant subtle elements organ of perception as एतेषाम पंच तत्वा मध्य आकाश आकाशस सात्विक आशात श्रोत्रेन्द्रिय संबुद फ्रॉम अमंग दीज फाइव ग्रेट एलिमेंट्स आउट ऑफ द सात्विक एस्पेक्ट ऑफ आकाशा इज एवर्ड द इयर द ऑर्गन ऑफ इयर वायो सात्विक आकांक्षात तव इंद्रिय संबोधन फ्रॉम द सात्विक एस्पेक्ट ऑफ वायु एयर इज एवॉर्ड द स्किन द ऑर्गन ऑफ टच अग्नि सात्विक आकांक्षा चक्षुरेन्द्रियम संबोधन फ्रॉम द सात्विक एस्पेक्ट ऑफ फायर इज फॉर्म द आई जलस्य सात्विक आकांक्षा जलसेन्द्रिय संबोधन from the satvik aspect of what is formed the tongue the organ of taste prithvya satvik akankshat ghranendriya sambhutam from the satvik aspect of what is formed the organ of smell the nose this can be summarized as for a satva aspect akasha goes into formation of ear सात्विक एस्पेक्ट वायु गोज इन टू फॉर्मेशन ऑफ स्किन सात्वा एस्पेक्ट अग्नि गोज इन टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ आई सात्वा एस्पेक्ट अपाह गोज इन टू फॉर्मेशन ऑफ टंग सत्वा एस्पेक्ट पृथ्वी गोज इन टू फॉर्मेशन ऑफ नोज the five senses of perception are evolved from sattva aspect of the five elements every element has an essential nature guna and the corresponding sense of organ is evolved from it thus the essential guna of akasha is sound and sattva aspect of the akasha goes into the makeup of ears the guna of air is touch and therefore skin is evolved out of the sattva aspect of air and so on 
अंत है करना माइंड एपेशाम पंच तत्वानाम समस्ति सात्विक आकांक्षात मनोबुद्धम अहंकार चितांत करना संबोधानी फ्रॉम द टोटल सात्विक कंटेंट ऑफ दीज फाइव एलिमेंट्स द अंत करना द इनर इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड ऑफ द मानस बुद्धि अहंकारा एंड चित्ता आर फॉर्म्ड द अंत करना और द माइंड रिसीव द स्टिमली फ्रॉम द सेंसिज ऑफ परसेप्शन एंड डायरेक्ट द प्राणमया को सा टू रेस्पॉन्ड द माइंड इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी एवॉल्व फ्रॉम द कम्बाइंड सात्विक एस्पेक्ट ऑफ ऑल द फाइव सटल एलिमेंट्स हाउ द माइंड हैज टू एसिमिलेट द स्टिमुली फ्रॉम डिफरेंट सेंसिज ऑफ प्रसेप्शन इज एविडेंट वेन ए मैन इज टोल्ड ऑफ ए बंस ऑफ ब्यूटिफुल रोज इज ऑन ए टेबल इन द रूम हिज सेंस ऑफ हियरिंग सेंड्स द मैसेज टू द माइंड द माइंड and immediately direct the eye to see the roses to confirm if the reaction after the seeing does not confirm whether the roses are real or artificial the next action is to smell them if in spite of this the mind is not satisfied it wants to check them by touching to confirm their velvety smoothness again for an absolute confirmation a rose petal may even be tasted thus the mind receives the stimuli from sense organs and assimilates the information the antahakarna or the mind is made up of thoughts these thoughts can be divided into four categories based on their nature or function so the one antahakarna is called by four names according to the four functions it per फॉर्म्ड विज मानस बुद्धि अहंकारा एंड चित्ता जस्ट एज वन वोमेन मे बी कॉल्ड मदर डॉटर सिस्टर आंट एटसेट्रा डिपेंडिंग अपॉन हर फंक्शन संकल्प विकल्प आत्मक मन मानस इज ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ इंडिसीजन और डाउट मानस वेन एन इंडिविजुअल इज नॉट श्योर अबाउट समथिंग हिज माइंड वेसिलेट्स बिटवीन अबोजिड थॉट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल वाई लिविंग होम आफ्टर वॉकिंग इफ यू स्टेप्स ए क्वेश्चन अराइज इज हैव आई लॉकड द डोर विकल्प देन द आंसर मे बी येस आई हैव लॉकड द डोर संकल्प बट इफ द doubting faculty over rides the man would go back to check whether the door is locked or not this function of antah karna is called manas thus the nature of manas is volition or vacillation and doubt nischayatmika buddhi intellect is of the nature of decision buddhi buddhi is the determining faculty or the cognition faculty thus upon the doubt of whether the door is locked or not the deciding faculty mind confirm yes the door is locked this faculty is buddhi buddhi is involved in the analysis of a situation or an inquiry into a problem aham karta ahankara i am the doer this sense is the ego ahankara ahankara the aspect of the antah karna which has the sense of doership or ownership is called ahankara ego this is a notion which claims the doership and identifies the self with one's actions pleasures sorrows etc chintan kritri chittam the thinking faculty or the faculty of recollection is the chitta chitta the function of the antah karna which is based on the recollection of past experiences or events is called chitta jat the chitta provides guidelines to the buddhi on the basis of past experiences it is a store house of impressions and memories thus if a man happens to see a snake the past memories or impressions of a snake will direct the mind and the senses to react while the three faculties viz manas buddhi and chitta chitta come and go that is they replace each other according to the situation 
the ahankara or the notion of diversity is always present at all times thus it is i who vacillates or i who decides or i who provides the direction the other modifications change according to objects and thoughts thus the sattva aspect of all the five tanmatras goes into the makeup of manomaya and vijnanamaya kosa which includes the mind the intellect and the five senses of perception manso devata chandramaha the presiding deity of the mind is the moon buddhi brahma for the intellect the presiding deity is brahma ahankarasya rudra for the ego it is rudra chitta sevashu deva for the chitta the presiding deity is vashu deva evolution of the rajas aspect the second aspect of the three gunatmika maya is rajas which also appears in the five elements and consequently in the jagat एतेषा पंच तत्वा मध्य आकाशत वागी इंद्रिय संबूत अमंग दीज फाइव एलिमेंट्स फ्रॉम द राजस एस्पेक्ट ऑफ स्पेसिज फ्रॉम द ऑर्गन ऑफ स्पीच वायु राज शांत पाणींद्रिय संभूत फ्रॉम द राजस एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द वायु एयर इज फ्रॉम द हैंड वन्य राज शात पाद इंद्रिय संभूत फ्रॉम द राज एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द फायर इज फ्रॉम द लैग जल से राजसाशात राज शांसात उपस्थेन्द्रिय संभूत फ्रॉम द राज एस्पेक्ट ऑफ वाटर द जेनिटल जार फाउंड पृथ्व्या राजशांत गुतेन्द्रिय संभूत फ्रॉम द राज एस्पेक्ट ऑफ अर्थ द एन एस इज फॉर्म एतेषाम समि राजशांसात पंच प्राण संभूता फ्रॉम द टोटल राज एस्पेक्ट ऑफ ऑल दीज फाइव एलिमेंट्स द फाइव वाइटल एयर्स आर बॉर्न फ्रॉम द राजसिक एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द फाइव सटल एलिमेंट्स द प्राणमय कोश ऑफ द पंच प्राण एंड कर्मेन्द्रियाज इज इवॉल्ड वंस अगेन एवरी सटल एलिमेंट इज एसोसिएटेड विद ए सटन फंक्शन so that rajas aspect of a given element goes into the makeup of a specific organ of action this is given below rajas aspect akasha goes into formation of speech vayu rajas aspect vayu formation hands rajas aspect agni formation hands agni rajas एस्पेक्ट अग्नि फॉर्मेशन लेग्स राजस अपह फॉर्मेशन जेनिटल पृथ्वी फॉर्मेशन एनस द राजस एस्पेक्ट ऑफ ऑल द सटल एलिमेंट्स गोज इन टू द मेकअप ऑफ फाइव प्राण एवोल्यूशन ऑफ द तामसिक एस्पेक्ट एतेषाम पंच तत्वा तामशाशाप पंचीकृत पंच तत्वानि भवन्ति फ्रॉम द तामस एस्पेक्ट ऑफ दीज फाइव सटल एलिमेंट्स द ग्रसिफाइड फाइव एलिमेंट्स आर बॉर्न पंचीकरणम कथम इति चेत एते शाम पंच महाभूतानां तामशांस स्वरूपम एकमेकं भूतं दिवदा विभज्य एकम एकं मृदं पृथक तुषणिं व्यवस्थाप्य अप्रपर धर्म चतुर्धा विभज्य स्वाध मनेशु अधेशु सौभाग चतुष्ट संयोजन कार्य तदा पंचीकरण भवती इट इज इफ इट इज आस्ड हाउ दिस पंचीकरण ग्रसिफिकेशन टेक्स प्लेस इट इज एज फॉर ऑज नंबर वन the tamas aspect of each of the five elements divided into two equal parts second one half of each remains intact third the other half of each gets divided into four equal parts fourth then to the intact half of one element 
one one eight portion from each of the other four elements get gets joined fifth then panchi karna the process by which the subtle elements become the gross element is complete the process of five fold self division and mutual combination panchi karna sky half s plus 1 by 8 a plus 1 by 8 f plus 1 by 8 w plus 1 by 8 e air half agas 1 by 8 s 1 by 8 fire 1 by 8 water 1 by 8 earth fire one half fire plus one one by 8 s one by 8 air one by 8 water one by 8 earth water one and half water one and half one by 8 sky plus one by 8 air plus 1 by 8 fire plus 1 by 8 earth earth 1 1 one half earth plus 1 by 8 sky plus 1 by 8 air plus 1 by 8 fire plus 1 by 8 water tatva bodha from these five grossified elements the gross body is formed grossification panchi karna the tamas aspect of the five elements derived from the tamas aspect of trigunatmika mala goes into the makeup of the gross objective world however a process of grossification takes place first in which the tamas aspect of the five subtle elements evolved into five gross elements perceived by the senses this process of conversion of subtle elements into gross elements is called panchi karna or the pentamerous combination bifurcation the steps involved in the panchi karna are as follows number 1 the tamas aspect of each of the subtle elements is divided into two equal parts the second keeping the first half intact the second half is further divided into four equal parts each part 1 by 8 of the whole third the intact half of one element joins with the 1 by 8th portion of each of the remaining four elements the gross fourth the gross elements is designated by the predominant constituent in the grossified element for example the gross akasha consists of the grossification of the tamas aspect of 1 by uh, half akasha 1 by 8 vayu 1 by 8 agni 1 by 8 water and 1 by 8 earth the five grossified elements and their combination go into the makeup of a gross objective world including the gross body evam pind brahmande yor rakyam sambhutam thus there is the identity between the pin pindanda and the brahmanda that is the microcosm and the macrocosm the individual physical body is called pinda and the cosmos consisting of all the gross objects including all individual physical bodies is called brahmanda or anda thus the pinda is a part of the brahmanda because both are made from the same five gross elements which in turn are derived from brahma because of maya the pinda and the brahmanda are one pinda is the microcosm and brahmanda is the macrocosm neither of these is part from brahma apart from brahma 
the process of evolution of the universe consisting of the gross and subtle objects has been described the subtle objects are evolved from the elements before panchikarna while the gross objects after panchikarna the five elements which thus account for the entire creation have evolved from maya which in turn is the power of brahma thus brahma is the fundamental substance from which the whole universe is made and therefore everything sentient and insentient is actually made up of brahma with proper vision that is derived from knowledge one is able to experience the presence of brahma everywhere and also able to see the connecting link identity between the individual and the universe or the microcosm and macrocosm so my dear friends i end this video here and will continue the remaining part in the third video so please like comment and share the video and subscribe the channel namaskar my dear friends namaskar namaskar namaskar